So here we are inside of Substance Painter. And before we're going to texture our engine panel, let's first create a couple of materials because they're going to be reused for a lot of other panels and it will speed up the workflow. First of all, if you are creating materials, it's best not to use any background with a lot of colors, such as this one. It looks very pretty, but it makes it, it, makes it a bit hard to tweak the colors. This only applies for when you're reverse engineering existing models, such as the cockpit. If you are making something which doesn't exist, then of course it doesn't really matter what the actual colors are as long as it looks good. The other thing is if you are reverse engineering an existing object, you don't want to sample colors from a photo. Like here I've got the photo of the actual object and here's another photo. Uh, it would be very tempting to just use the eyedropper and sample color from this model here or from this photo here but that will be inaccurate because actual photos are the light is contaminated by surrounding light and this will affect the end result so the best thing is to use a specialized device which can sample the color without being affected by outside light or to shield the area around it take a photo using cross polarization so you don't get any of the specular highlights I've taken some samples before, so I should have accurate colors. And let's start trying to create some of these materials. So first we're going to uh, place a, a black and white environment, or maybe this one, so the colors will be accurate. And let's start with the uh, blue panel right here, the base, or the gray blue color. So in order to create a material, we're just going to delete the default layer here add a fill layer and at the base color um, we can type in the actual colors I have them right here so that's uh, 0.369 for red for green it's 0.424 and for blue it's 0.478 Now you can see that this color here is not exactly the same as from a photo, but then again, this photo is being affected from outside light. Of course, we can always tweak the values if we're not happy with it. So next is to adjust the roughness and we can do that right here. So here's a slider and you have to make sure that it's reviewing some light here, maybe something like this. In fact, maybe I should take another area light here maybe this one okay let's see how that looks okay so tweaking colors with this environment works but tweaking roughness doesn't really work so for that we're going to use this background right there then we got the Sun and with that, it's a bit easier to adjust the roughness. Okay, so something like that. So this is pretty a pretty simple material and we could add some grunge maps to vary the roughness a bit, but for the purpose of the tutorial, just keep it pretty simple. So if we uh, right click on the material here and then you can select the button create material preset, this will add a uh, material somewhere over here. This is probably something Substance Painter need to fix because it's not easy to find it again. But um, you can search it, just type in new and then you'll find it there, new material preset. Okay, so rename that, let's right click it and this box pops up and it's going to call it um, Airbus panel gray, they'll do. Okay. So here, if we just type in Airbus, we can find it right there. So next one, we're going to make the switch here, the master switch, and that's actually metal. So we'll have to change it a little bit. We make a new fill layer for the color. And it's about 
it's a bit grayish right there and it's actually a metal right so switch this all the way the metal slider here all the way to the right so that'll be a metal uh, roughness it's pretty rough it's also a good idea to take actually a video of your object instead of photos so you can see how the light reflects off it from different angles i did take a video but it didn't copy it on my laptop yet so i'll just use a photo for now and let's see how that looks compare it again maybe a bit more rough something like that and the real object it's got some some dirt on it and some slight amount of rust but for the purpose of the tutorial i'm not going to add that I just leave it like this it looks pretty good okay so I'll save that so that should be ev pretty much everything then so we created our all our uh, materials right there we type in airbus here so here are, are all the materials we just created and let's load up the uh, engine panel and apply the materials so the file recent files because i already prepared that let me save this one and here is the engine panel i already baked the maps for it just a normal map and an id map and you can see there's a few issues here this screw here is does not turn out very well doesn't look very well and the reason for that is because i baked everything with the average normals bake if you go to the bake textures here there you can see what my settings are and when you use the average normal bake then it bakes the edges very nice of the model but everything which is on top it gets screwed i have another tutorial where i explain how to fix that so i won't go over it in here and it, it takes a bit of time to fix so to speed things up i'll just skip that part i won't go too into too much detail about how to set up the baking settings because there's other tutorials for that um, i'm just going to explain how to apply the materials on the model we have so first you have to select the correct model right there or here you see all the textures we have for the different parts of the model and the fastest way to find a correct one you just press ctrl alt right mouse, mouse button and it will automatically select the correct texture right there right so let's apply the material here so just get rid of this layer in the layer stack and search for our material we created before so that's the airbus panel material so just drag and drop it right there and i just realized that there's one material i forgot to make but it doesn't matter because we can make it right here we don't want to apply this entire color to the entire model because there's some part in it which is the text right there which we want to give a different material in order to do that just right click the layer right there and select add mask with color selection and then here there's a button pick color so you just click that and then you can see the id map is automatically selected and then you just click on the color which you want to use for the uh, for the material you want to use and then you can see that the, the panel or the panel color is only applied to the panel and not to the text okay so for the text that's actually emissive so in order to create a material like that it's a little bit more involved but let me show you how that works so first you have to add an emissive channel to the texture set settings list right there because that by default that's not there so just add click on the plus button right there and click on emissive so this adds an emissive channel next we can add a um, fill layer okay click on right there so there's the fill layer and right click on the layer and then select add mask with color selection again right there pick color and select the text right there so now we can add the, the material itself so it only has a color and an emissive layer or material or channel i should say so only select those so deselect all the rest of the uh, channels and only keep the color and emissive and then you just for the base color you select the color it has when it's not emissive so that's just white and for the emissive color 
you can't see that on the uh, photo right there but let me just find a, another photo just okay I found a photo and you can see here what it looks like at night so the text is emissive and also the ring around the uh, switches is emissive also this switch right there is just damaged that's why it appears emissive but in reality it's not it's just the indicator in the middle is emissive for the emissive color it's just amber type of color so we just eyeball it you can of course you can measure it or, or use the uh, eyedropper but in this case I'm just going to eyeball it so use about something like this okay so in order to see what's actually happening what you have to do is go to the viewer settings and turn the exposure down and then you can see that at night it looks different but nicely emissive you can change the emissive value also right there so make it more or less emissive so now it's uh, just white and a little bit emissive or more okay so let's go back to day mode just turn exposure up right there okay and then again we can uh, save this layer as a uh, material you can just right click on the material here create material preset same thing again new and there's our material preset so just rename it airbus emissive white okay so we should have all our materials now so let's continue next let's start with uh, rotary switch so control alt right mouse button that selects the correct texture and we're going to drag and drop just delete this layer here the button we made before which i think is this one airbus button gray yeah okay so drag and drop it right there that fills the entire button with the material um, but we want to change the color in the middle so just right click add mask with color selection pick color this one and there we go so for the other ones use the um, white color yeah we can use this okay so drag and drop this above again this fills the entire switch with this material but using the uh, mask with color selection again and we can check the original here so it's the inner area which is white so pick color right there so now that's white okay and it, it doesn't look very white but it's just because of the color of the uh, environment map right there which is another reason why you don't want to tweak colors in this mode but for now it will do and yet another material which is the black part on the outside of it drag and drop the material for that right click add mask with color selection pick color and the and i forget how much what it was okay that's the outer side right there there we go so here's our switch okay continuing so now let's do the engine master switch right there so drag and drop the airbus uh, master switch material right there right click add mask with color selection pick color that one okay now the top drag and drop the black material right click add mask with color selection pick color that one and then the white text drag and drop right click add mask with color selection pick color and right there so <clears throat> there's our master switch i'm not going to do the other one it's just the same procedure in fact you can use just clone these engines except for the uh, number will be difference in number two and so next one this uh, square switch right there right click ctrl alt right click to select the correct uh, texture and just add the uh, let me see which one it is okay so it's the outer one and looking at the picture so the inner one is the one with the more dark texture which is that one so just drag and drop 
I'm not going to bother deleting this layer. Um, right click, add mask with color selection, pick color, and that one. And did they do that correctly? You see, middle. No, I didn't. Okay, so never mind, do it again. Okay, that one. And then the outer layer, that's that color. Right click, add mask with color selection, pick color, and it will be the outer one. Okay, there we go. There's our switch. And then the outer ring, that's the okay, case, the same color, it's the lighter color. So, Ctrl Alt, right click, that's, that's a different texture. And you can see it automatically that the other button also because it's just on the same texture. So it just uses the ID map to identify the different materials. So now we have the outer rim. And same thing, it's a drag and drop, that's the lighter material. Add mask with color selection, big color, right there, okay. Well, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, these materials are actually pretty simple. So we could just not give it a material at all, but just give it a simple material in Unity, uh, which doesn't use any textures. But for the purpose of the tutorial, this will do. Okay, now these uh, screws, Ctrl Alt, right click. And it's the same color as the flat panel. So try and drop this one right there. Okay, so that's done with that. Now the black base. So Ctrl Alt right click. And so which shall we use? Maybe the lighter one. Um, yeah, that'll do. Okay. So uh, let's just do the last switch since we're nearly done anyway. So Ctrl Alt right click. Same thing. Um, color selection again, that one, and then the black material for on top, and mask right there, and the text on top, and pick the color right there. Okay, so now we're done. So it's basically it. Again, we can play with the viewer settings and exposure to look, check how it looks at night. It's pretty nice. Okay, that's done with the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, ask below. Thank you.